my hat. I'm wearing this because I cannot bring myself to take it off because it's a wig and I don't like how it looks right here. So hide it with that and it's so fast and quick. All right, so we're gonna begin. I'm just gonna show you that I make a part because then it'll be like forever and ever. Um, right now I have a little foundation and I did my eyebrows and then I put on um, concealer as my shadow base, like a primer. And <clears throat> when I'm done, I'm gonna fit, I'm gonna when I'm done doing my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go back and do the rest of my face. So we're gonna be using the modern Renaissance, okay? If you know me, you know I, I don't like to use too many different products. Like I try to use only one palette per makeup look. Okay, so we're gonna go with this. Um, let's see. Okay, let's start with temperi no temperia, and we're gonna put this all over the eye it's kind of i kind of have to go like to the whole time because i have eyelash extensions then they get all powdery but yeah we're gonna go this all over on top of that concealer and what this is gonna do is gonna take the tackiness away of the concealer and it's gonna allow for the rest of the eyeshadows the rest of the powders to go on very like effortlessly and blend really good because if you just go on with eyeshadow on top of this, it can start looking like patchy and be hard to blend. All right, so once that that's done, oh wait, is it out of focus? Jesus Christ, it is so hard to do makeup tutorials. Like, I don't know, you go out of focus and this stuff sometimes don't end up looking like it looks on a real person. You have to do your makeup a little bit more concentrated in real life so that the camera picks it up the way you want it to okay so now we're gonna go with this what is it called Rilgar and it's a really orange color and we're gonna go like this everywhere everywhere it's like that let's see I'm putting it all in the lid and I'm gonna put it in the crease but I'm trying to make it like kind of like like very blown out like all the way over here. And this nice fluffy brush is good whenever you really want to like um, blow out the product and blend it. I always advise people to first focus on getting that nice smooth line. Like you don't want this line to be like this because it is going to be so much harder to blend. Okay, that, that's pumpkin enough, right? yeah we're gonna take it here just a little bit like that that way it looks very like blown out and diffused and then sometimes i like to take my finger and work it in there it's warm the skin is warm and it helps you like blend the product oh quick tip when you're blending keep your brush or finger clean it's gonna be so much easier to blend because or else you're just like if you, if your finger or brush are not clean then not only are you blending you're also adding more product which makes it so much harder so because i went in a little too pumpkin all the way up. huh I'm using the okay baby I have two kids uh, we're using okay wait till i'm done okay. we're using tempera and I'm applying it right here as a highlight mostly because I went a little too high up with this pumpkin color this orange right here learn your face shape because um, like example if you have a very long face then you want your eyebrow to have less of an arch and be more like that if you have more of a round face like me then you kind of want it to be more structured and like less of a round shape um yeah but so yeah know your eyebrow shape and then you'll know how to place your eyebrow your eyebrow highlight on the bottom so what i did is i put red ochre in all over the lid like that i just packed it on like that on both eyes and then i get like i got a little bit more tap out the excess blow out a little bit more and then you're just gonna like feather some up like that a little bit. 
just a little bit like on the crease start heavy right here and then kind of just like that go short and fast to blend it better get this clean brush well sort of clean you know has some eyeshadow but no strong color um and then you're gonna go like that just to blend that line better until little circular motions help a little bit. Okay, my real guard orange color. I kind of go like this so it makes it more like slim. And I'm going to put it down here. And yes, I know I can get another brush. But I'm telling you, I'm very simple. I'm like, the, the less brushes, the better the less um, stuff. And plus, it's very fluffy and it's going to give us that um, like smoke that look yeah we're gonna we're looking like a sexy zombie now we're gonna go with this red ochre color and we're gonna um, get it with the same flat brush I used earlier and we're gonna put this let's see right here in the lash line fairly close you want to try your best not to go too low with this one so it's almost like this dark color is hugging your eye and then it's like blowing out into this pretty orange out here. Like that. It's that simple. So we're doing Trophy Life. And we're going to, I guess, get the same one. Just clean it. I have a little towel here I'm cleaning. And we're going to pack it up there nicely. And I'm going to apply this in the beginning of the eye. In the beginning of the eye. I don't know what else to call it, like that. Because it's more than the inner corner, it's the beginning of the lid. Concentrate it, pack it on like that. And then when you want it to start blending, like over here, so you don't have a harsh line, get it where it's concentrated and just feather it like that. So stuck to the skin here, and then you kind of like, like, let's go. Let's go. And again, use your finger when needed. And now we're putting a little bit more right here I swear this right here is picking up so much darker in camera I'm looking at my nose like Ugh. and this is translucent powder Laura Mercier Mercier blah, blah, blah. you know what I'm talking about <sighs> oh I know it's translucent but it still gets rid of some of the color a little bit mascara this is the amazing lash studio mascara I do have lash extensions and this is the one for it that they sell there at the studio and I'm supposed to comb them but I can't find my little comb so I'm just gonna do this and I normally don't have to wear mascara like I will go out like that but I feel like in camera it's not picking up the lashes so that's why I'm gonna go back with it and I love like big full lashes on the bottom especially if the top ones are long you don't want the top ones to be so long and then the bottom ones tiny because then they look even more fake. You know, like, you know. So, I feel that the top and bottom should match. And sometimes you can't because you want the top longer. But just try your best for it to be somewhat similar. Alright, baby, now you can enjoy my face.